Was Jack Charlton though, and he almost got to him with his head, but Mike England, his counterpart, getting there first. Lorimer with a shot and a fine goal by Peter Lorimer. Shannon is in the box, so is Clark. Here's Shannon, here's Clark. Peter's on the far side. Oh, and it came off Peter Lorimer. He was desperately unlucky. Hughes now sending it forward again for England. Two Englishmen against three Scots, but one by Shannon. Clark! 2-0, 14 minutes gone, the defence caught again. Shivers with a long throw, the goalkeeper not very well placed, Shannon coming in! Mick Shannon gets his first goal for England with two defenders and a goalkeeper flat-footed. Peter Shields has had much his best game for his country tonight. Like a push there by Forsyth. Cahoon chased by Martin Shivers. Cahoon just didn't play it and Shivers makes it four! again with the chance to use his length of kicking so useful in these conditions Clark with Donaghy Clark so much the better balance and Clark makes it five for England but just look at those defenders good challenge by Riddle and brought away by Chatterton and Peter Taylor is on side being joined now by Chatterton Square but Taylor goes alone and goes well oh it hit the bar Chatterton's there Little who benefited, Swindlehurst going through the middle, here's Taylor again, and Palace now is stretching Chelsea, Chatterton's going inside again, there he is, on again for Taylor! Well, this man may well have won the tie in the space of two minutes. Just look at the joy on the Palace faces. Peter Taylor takes Chelsea apart, and Malcolm Allison raises the hat on a bitterly cold afternoon. This time away by Cannon, here's Harris. Wilkins! They're appealing for offside, but it won't be given. Wilkins has scored for Chelsea. Just the goal they wanted to get back in the fight, but it comes from the 19-year-old skipper and sends the shed wild. Taylor, oh what a goal by Peter Taylor, and what a one-man performance, he's making this for Palace, and no wonder Malcolm takes the hat off again. Teasing them, oh and a beautiful goal. Cassidy. That's found McDonnell in space, they were caught out then, Newcastle and Bolton. And McDonald makes them pay for it. Oh, what a typical, typical Newcastle goal. McDonald's control! Oh, what a goal! What a brilliant goal! Magnificent! And with the right foot, too. Reed. Doing the different thing. They were calling the other way. The goalkeeper come in again, squeeze a shot, and in by Gary Jones! Unbelievable mess up for Newcastle. Craig, Kennedy's made a forward run, took a defender out, and created some room for Burns. 
Cassidy again with a shooting chance. Looking instead for Barakoff. Dowling! Really well made goal. And Alan Dowling, the scorer. Allardyce poised to make his run. And coming in on it. But Jones won it! Paul Jones! and good finishing by Makari and a good hard low cross that hit Woolett Daly to try again nice little flick from Pearson he's trying again and Pearson and now Daly 2-0 they couldn't keep him out forever Leicester just didn't seem to know how to cope Worthington bends it, and it's deflected by Lee. Lee's sixth goal in consecutive games. Less away from Gillespie. Archibald intercepted again by Gillespie and now Dyer. Oh, Ardiles has got a great chance. And he scored. A terrible mistake by Dyson. Oh, a dreadful error by Coventry. And Ozzy Ardiles, with Dyson hanging his head, took advantage. And they really enjoy playing with each other. Ardiles cross. Roberts, Hoddle's flick, Lacey, Archibald, Archibald scores his 22nd of the season, made for him by John Lacey, with 33 minutes gone, Spurs go two up. Dyson has made his way forward with Gillespie for this free kick. But it's been played short, and here's English, and they weren't concentrating in defence. And Tommy English gets one back with the Tottenham players half asleep. Still Galvin, Crooks. Archibald, it's a bit tight in there. Here's Perryman. Hoddle to his right. Hewton is well forward. It's Chris Hewton. It's there. Here's Dwyer, leaves it to Sutton, Berry back in, Richards and Gray in space, and he breaks the goal! What a substitution by John Barnwell. Norman Bell has been on the field a matter of minutes. Oh, and the handle could drop here for Gray. Reaches it, park in, touched up by 